Hey Scrappers, it's Vanessa here with another scrapbook process video and today I am back with day 11 of Miranda and Lisa's Christmas Memories Inspiration Hop and the theme for today is Christmas lights. So that's what you're going to see here in just a second when I bring my photos out. And the first thing I'm starting with are two different sprays. One's a white Mr. Huey's and one was, I believe, oh say can you see from Shimmers. And I'm just adding some splatters to this piece of wood grain cardstock that, or wood grain pattern paper that you see there. Now there are the photos that you just saw and I have these cut files and this cut file I had, had actually used a couple of the trees. I cut this whole cut file apart. It was like a whole line of trees and I had cut this apart and used it on another layout and so I had these three trees left over and so it worked out perfectly that I had these left over and so I decided to use them on this layout. Now I am not going to show me backing all of these on camera. I'm just going to show the back of this one. Now sometimes I will do this where I glue it down on the pattern paper and just cut it out and sometimes I will trace it and cut it out and then glue it to the back of the cut file. So there's a couple of different ways to do it. I did not bore you with watching me back all of those but I just went ahead with those pattern papers that you saw and backed each of those cut files in a different pattern paper and now you see I am just taking, I made two of my photos into smaller squares and then I have this third photo and I'm just going to back this third photo with this tissue paper and those are going to be the three photos that I'm going to use on this page. So not a one photo layout for me today. It is actually three photos that I'm going to get on this page and the photos that I'm scrapbooking today are actually from the botanical gardens that we have here and they do a light display at Christmas and actually we plan to go again probably this coming weekend and so one of their displays is all of these bonsai trees and they are absolutely stunning all lit up with these little twinkle lights at night and so these are a few pictures of some of the bonsai trees and so I am going to scrap that for my Christmas lights pictures for this layout today. So now my splatters are all dry and I have a piece of red cardstock that's going to act as my background and now I'm just matting that wood grain on that cardstock and I'm going to start to build out my layout. So I'm going to put the trees down here at the bottom and then I'm going to put the larger photo down amongst the trees at the bottom and then those two photos are going to go up to the top left. Now I'm taking this other piece of pattern paper and I want to say that all the pattern papers on this one were from the older crepe paper snow and cocoa line. I think that's what every single one of them is actually from and I'm just distressing the edge of this sort of scallopy pattern paper here and I'm going to use that here at the bottom of my layout to sort of have a resting place for all of these trees. So that's going to kind of complete that little scene there at the bottom and aren't those just the most beautiful trees all lit up. I absolutely love these pictures. They are some of my favorites. I can't wait to go again and see what they do this year. So be prepared. There'll probably be more pictures of these beautiful bonsai trees and other light lights from this trip. So here you see I am playing with this set of letter or word stickers from uh, hip kits and for my title I am just going to keep it really simple and use this Twinkle Lights title that was on that sticker set and make it really easy so that's going to act as my title for this one and it worked perfectly right above that larger photo. Now I also have from my stash these little sort of they're almost like washi strips but they don't rip like washi so they're kind of like a plasticky kind of washi tape so I just kind of put those behind those two photos to ground those at the top and then I've pulled out some other just little ephemera pieces that I think came in one of my past Christmas hip kits and there's some little mushrooms and how can you resist little mushrooms with bonsai trees at Christmas I mean 
hello adorable. So I am going to add those little mushrooms in amongst my trees. I have some little birds that I'm going to put um, up in one of the clusters at the top and then down at the bottom. And they're from their puffy stickers, so they add just a little bit of extra dimension. Those trees at the bottom, I did glue those down on off camera, and those do have some um, foam behind them, so they do kind of lift up off the page a little bit. Now I'm just taking some of these little stars off of this word sticker sheet and I'm just going to dot those around on the Christmas trees almost like ornaments or lights on the trees and that's going to kind of just add a little bit more interest down to the trees and up in this top cluster. I keep the embellishments and everything for this layout pretty simple. I am just going to come back here and I think think I am looking to add some sequins and basically once I add the sequins that is pretty much going to finish up this layout. So I will have the still photos here coming up at the end and please remember I have all of the links for everyone who is playing along in the description box below. And if you are new to my channel I will just say a big welcome and I hope you're enjoying this hop and be sure to hop around and check out everyone's layouts. Here are the still photos and guys, I will catch you on the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.